All right, so we're going to be uh, installing an offline roster on PC, manually installing offline roster files. As you can see, I'm offline. I'm not going to connect. So let's start up. We want to go to create roster. First of all, let's just use the official 2K sports roster when starting this. OK, so at this point, you don't even need the, the file. All right. So before I save this, let's let's change something in the roster so we can know what's different. So I'm going to just change Joel Embiid's name. And I'm just going to type in test or testing I'm sorry testing here so that once we finish if we come back and it still says testing then we know that this didn't work right so we're saving this roster we're gonna go down a new file and we're just gonna name this new offline roster to prove a point to you guys um, and really quick, I'm going to show you guys where the um, where the roster file is actually saved. It's saved in a remote folder. It's called remote. Um, this is a Steam a Steam folder because Steam creates these folders for your games. So I'll show you guys where it is for 2K19. It's for me, it's under Steam user data. Then most people will only have one folder here. I have a couple, but um, for me, it'll be that top one, whatever is the most recent folder. And then go down and find 1089350. That right there is for 2K19. Then don't choose local. I went to the wrong folder. Choose remote. And as you can see here, <clears throat> these are my recent files. The last roster I had ends in a seven, so roster zero 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 seven. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this in game. All right, it's saving. So look at my folder. Watch my folder update. As you can see, it creates a new roster file at the very top. All right, there's a new roster file at the very top and that is what we just saved so now we can actually uh, we need to exit the game now that we've done that and I'm gonna clear off everything off my screen so it's not distracting for you guys all right so now that we've exited the game we need to get rid of this roster 0008 and then we would replace it with our downloaded roster. In this case, I don't have one downloaded, so I'm just going to copy this roster 7. And so let me delete the roster 0008. All right, now if, let's just say this is my downloaded roster. Basically, it's just a copied roster. You rename the roster file that you have downloaded to replace the one you just deleted. As you just saw me rename that okay so then you're gonna get a message it's gonna say something about steam cloud blah 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 whatever uh, me you can read that if you want I'm just gonna go to play the game we're not connected online we weren't connected last time we were offline okay so me I'm just gonna press play game you guys can read through this if you want to I'm just showing you the message on screen so that if you do get this message, then you'll know, oh, okay, he got it too. If you don't get the message, then it doesn't matter. We're all going to the same place. All right, so I start up the game. I'm going to wait for everything to load now. So this is for everyone who keeps saying, hey, man, I, I tried your offline roster it keeps saying the file is corrupted well that means you guys didn't know how to actually do this so I'm, I'm showing you and that's not a bad thing it's okay so now we go to user created roster we go down the new offline roster and if it says that testing for Joel Embiid 
Okay, it doesn't say that at all. So as you can see, this is a completely different roster. It doesn't say anything about testing. So now you would be able to save this with whatever, you know, file name you wanted to. But I'm not actually going to save it um, as a different file name. And actually, you wouldn't even need to save over it because you're not making any changes. But if you were making changes, you can save over it. I'm actually going to prove a point and just double check this and make sure it actually works. So as you guys can see, it doesn't say corrupted. This is how you guys should be installing your offline um, files. You don't need anybody's sync dot bin folder my my sync dot bin folder is almost a gig and someone wanted me to upload it it's not necessary guys all right so anyway so now i'm going over to black time i'm going to test this roster i'm going to pull it up let's see see if it works so that roster is loaded up all right, let's see if we can. All right, so that roster is there. That roster is working. It's working. So you guys test out offline rosters and uh, go back through this video. See if you can do everything I just did. And I was having an issue with online rosters um, updating the blacktop automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead in a second and show you guys that this one won't reset the blacktop court. The offline roster file won't. And you can tell this is, a, you know, this work because little pump is not in a regular roster. Anyway. So, yeah, we're going to skip ahead. And here we are we skipped ahead okay so the court appears there so everything works with my blacktop offline roster so you guys can install it the way i just showed you all right um and this is how you install an offline roster you don't need anybody's sync.bin file if it says um the file is corrupted that means you did something incorrectly on your end um I, I just showed you guys how to do it. I literally can't show you anything else. So if you have questions, just rewatch.